Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today we're gonna to do three examples of the calculations involved for doing layout work for progressives, and I'll show you what that would look like in the blocker. All right, we have a little bit of housekeeping to get out of the way today. We are kind of on the last in this series on basic finishing layout work. Time to kind of check in and go over a few things. If you should ever get a progressive lens that does not have its painted on marks for layout work, fitting cross, a distant circle, and a horizontal reference line, you must mark up that lens. I go into detail on that on the website. Once you find your two laser etched marks and you take out the chart to mark up that lens, the chart has to be the correct one. I can't stress this enough. If you're using the wrong chart, you can be off three, four, seven millimeters. I mean, that lens will be unwearable. You're literally throwing hundreds of dollars into the trash. Make sure you have the right chart. Super, super important. Why do you have to be so sure about that? Because everything, like in single vision, everything works off the three lens meter dots. In a segmented or a line bifocal, everything works off the segment. For a progressive, everything works off the fitting cross. And that cross has to be in the right place. This is six out of six in this series. I am only going to give you what you need to figure out these examples. If you want the practice of all the extra stuff and taking out the things you don't need and need doing a more step-by-step -step slow approach, then go back and watch the first five videos. Much like I mentioned with that lined bifocal, because you have a reference point on a progressive lens, it's there or you mark it, if you trust it in the lab, not that you wouldn't check, but you don't really need a lens meter. It's not really required to do layout work for progressives. You have the fitting cross to work from. We do always use monocular PDs. If someone had a perfect 64, you would still write it and think about it as 3232. And there are all kinds of reasons about that that I go into on the website. Marking it up correctly, using the right chart, using monocular PDs. Why? Because millimeters matter when laying out progressives. Even for low prescriptions in a progressive, if you are off, by a millimeter, you may as well be off a mile. Really important. A lot of non-adapt stuff, just poor measurements. Well, I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do example number one for layout work for a progressive lens. What do we need? I've got 5419 for my frame boxing system, which gives me a 73. 73 divided by two gives me 36.5. 36.5, minus 33, minus 35. I've got a B of 32, gives me 16, 16. I have a height of 18, 16. My OC height, I'm sorry. Oh, my fitting cross height, or my progressive fitting height is 18. That's two above my 16 that's split. I have got what I need here to go to the blocker. Got monocular PDs, so I need to do monocular frame. Geometric center eyewire openings, 36.5. My human, 33 and 35. I'm gonna move three and a half in for my right, one and a half in for my left, and two up for both. I'm gonna take my fitting cross. And I'm not gonna put it there. I'm not gonna put it there. I'm gonna come over and up. My block will end up here. It's not going to be there. It's not going to be there. It's going to be over one and a half 
and up two. That's where my person is. This is where my block will go. Let's take a look at that in the blocker. For our right, we have three and a half over. Let me load up a block. And two up, three and a half over, and one, two up. Making sure I keep everything straight across, three and a half over, two up. And sure enough, if I was looking at this, my right would be over and up. And we're left one and a half over and two up. That would be zero, one and a half over, and one, two up. That looks perfect. Example number two. We have got a super frame measurement of 5316, which gives me 69, 69 divided by do gives me 34.5, 4.5, minus 28 and minus 29. 34.5 minus 28 is 6.5 in for my right, 34.5 minus 29 is 5.5 in for my left. My B is 29. Split that, I get 14.5. And I've got 16 minus 14.5. I need to move one and a half up. Why up? Because my fitting cross location is above half my B. 16 is higher, more than 14.5. When I did a measurement for this person, I wanted the fitting cross to appear 16 millimeters above where the lens would sit within the eye wire in the boxing system. I will be taking my super lens and I will be taking my fitting cross and I will be moving it over six and a half and up one and a half. Take my fitting cross and moving it five and a half over and one and a half up. Let's see what that would look like in the blocker. For example number two, we have got six and a half over, five, six and a half over, and one and a half up. Go ahead and load a block there. Now all these examples are extremely common measurements. Progressive movement is almost always over and up. There is six and a half over, and there is one and a half up. And we are good. Looking at that, I would be over and up because everything is working off, of course, of that fitting cross. And for our left, five and a half over and one and a half up. Five and a half over. And one and a half up. And again, I have got a camera in front of me. I can't look straight down on these. So if I am off by half a millimeter here, do not send me hate mail. Thank you. Okay, looks good. Wow, uh, the, the last of our examples in this series on basic uh, finishing layout work calculations. Kind of sad, this, is, this has been kind of fun.
All right, we have a frame boxing system of 49, 15, which gives us 64. Divided by two is 32. 32, 32, 32, 32, minus 30, minus 31. We're almost there. 26 divided by two is gonna be 13 and 13. I've got a height of 17 minus 13 is gonna be four up. I have got what I need to head to the blocker. This is exactly what will be in my head. When I pick up that lens, I think two in, four up, one in, four up. I will take super lens for the last time. And I will take this fitting cross and I will move it, not here, not here, but over and up, over two, up four. For my left, I'm going to move it just one in and four up. For the last time in this series, let's see what that will look like in the blocker. For example number three, we have two over and four up. Two over and four up. Two over one, two, three, four, up. That looks good. Oh yeah, that's good. And for our left, we have one over and four, up. One over. One, two, three, four. Four up, keeping my lines horizontal, looking good. One over, four up. And there's the center of the block, one over, and then our fitting cross, which is everything, is four up. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope you found that useful. If you are ready to start to finish progressive lenses, make sure those lenses come from Laramie K. I'm going to do three examples of working the calculations for... <laughs>